Hello, my name is Andrew Grant. In this video, we're going to have a look at creating separate declaration and definition folders in our project, as well as a separate precompile header. Okay, so as we can see here, we've got the uh, declaration and here we've got the definition and here is the separate precompiled header folder. Within the declaration and the definition, we have an app details with the app name and here's the definition declaration and here's the definition okay and this is the main program okay so that's what we're going to be looking at here's the thing okay this is it so the first thing that we're going to do is right click on the project and head down to properties um the first page on the general make sure we're set to all configurations and all platforms we're going to change it from c plus plus 14 to c plus plus 20 Let's get up to date. The next thing that we're going to go and do is we're going to go to the tab marked VC++ directories. And we're going to go down to public project content. And under here we've got public include directories. As you can see I've already set it because I didn't think you'd want to see my typing skills. And this is what we have got. Let me just zoom in. This is the order that you need to write them in. Okay, so you need to do the definition, then the declaration, and the precompile header file first. Okay, so you just click this button here and fill it in. That's all you do, is you literally, you just click on that and fill it in. And it's dollar sign, paren open parentheses, project de, all one word, uppercase P, uppercase D, Rest is lowercase, close the parentheses, no slash in there, and then just the name of the folder, the identifier. No slash at all. As you can see, it inserts them by itself. There we go, just there. Okay, then we need to go to C, C++, and go to, it's on the general tab, or on the main part tab, additional include and we do exactly the same thing in the same order definition declaration pre-compiled so that no slash in there as you can see it all just comes up nicely okay and you click ok the next thing because we're using pre-compiled headers and i would advise to use pre-compiled headers in modern c++ really i know there's a lot of resistance to it my favorite is to use it if you don't want to don't include it if you're not including it i'll just say this now if you're not including it make sure that not using pre-compile header is set okay otherwise for the general we're going to do use and then the name of the file which is pch.h leave the uh, pre-compile header output file to the uh, default this is the name of the file i will zoom in so we can see Okay, so the pre-compile header is use, the name of the file is pch, and leave that as default. And click apply and OK. Right, the next thing that we need to do is to go to the pch.cpp, the declaration. Let me just pull it up. All you need in there is include pch.h. That's literally all you need. That's all you need. Do not put anything else in, okay? And then we right click on that and go down to properties. And here, the pre-compile header, we make create. Everything else stays the same. We just change this to create. And then we need to include PCH in the declaration and in the definition. It needs including in both. And it needs to be the first include this doesn't work you get a lot of problems but that works so make sure that pch is in all the files and is declared first and that is literally it then we can run it hey yeah, presto it's run as i say jobs are good all right okay that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video where we're going to look at turning this into a template that we can use and make life even easier. Okay, catch you later. Have a good one. Cheers.